Superman issue 16 sees John record a message for Damien while aboard jor ship, saying he's realised coming out into space is the dumbest idea he has ever had. He tells Damien he is sending this message just to say hi, but also to say sorry if Damien is jealous of him, and he shouldn't be, since he's going to try and get home as soon as possible. In the present, Damien fights an army of Leviathan soldiers who are trying to plant a bomb at a dockyard. He tries to call in Batman, but the thugs say he knows he's not in the city. But that doesn't stop Damien from kicking them all around the docks. He tries to get a hold of the Justice League or the Titans next, but they soon teleport out of the area, as do all of the defeated Leviathan thugs. As they do, the shipyard explodes thanks to the bomb they managed to plant, but luckily John arrives to give Damien some help. John confirms that it really is him and Damien can take all the time he needs to adjust to what is happening. Damien throws some batterings at the older John, but they bounce off him as he demands to know what happened. Damien theorises it's either gold kryptonite or some form of Kryptonian puberty, but John says that he went with his grandfather into space and got stuck in time, and it took years for them to get back to this time and right now he is just going to hug his best friend. Damien says that it's not fair since now John is not only taller than him but also older than him. He demands to know what else John has done before him before accusing John of being Leviathan. John remembers his father talking about it before he came to see John but Damien still insists that he is a Leviathan trick. John reiterates what's happened to him so Damien fully understands the situation. With Damien caught up, they soon go and get hot dogs, sitting up on the Gotham gargoyles while they eat. John talks about his time in the volcano prison on Earth 3 and Damien is sorry he wasn't there to help. John breaks up the conversation saying that he has no idea what to do now, but he hears sirens so the Super Sons get to work, helping out at disasters and robberies all around the city. While they work, John talks to Damien about possibly joining the Legion of Superheroes in the 31st century. Damien tells him to go for it but wonders why John is so hesitant. John says that in this time he's got Damien, but Damien wants him to go to the future and see if he can get the okay from the Legion for him to join. John doesn't think that will happen since only he was invited, but he can put in a good word for him. Dawn soon breaks over the city and Damien says despite all of the crap John went through, he got home. Before leaving, Damien says he seriously wants John to ask about a spot for him in the future, and if not, he could always come back and buy him a bunch of beer, despite him not being allowed to drink. John says their night on the town felt like nothing changed between them as Damien hugs John before taking off. John heads back to the Fortress of Solitude, where he asks Kellex about the 31st century, but the robot has no data on something that hasn't happened yet. Clark arrives, saying he talked to Lois about John's decision, and John asks him what he really thinks. Clark says he's a little jealous of the choices in front of his son, but tells his son not to worry about them. Clark says he's very proud of his son as Kellex alerts them to an intruder. The intruder, however, is only Saturn Girl, who is very excited to be in the Fortress of Solitude. As John meets with her, Clark gets Kellex to continue running his analysis and recording of Saturn Girl, who says she hopes Superman didn't take John's invite as an insult to his family. Clark says he didn't, and John is his own man who makes his own choices. The Legion member asks if John has thought about their offer and he wants to see a peek at the future first before going, so using her powers, Saturn Girl shows him her memories and experiences of the future. John can't believe what he saw as Saturn Girl gives Superman a device that can call John back home anytime he needs him. Clark asks if John will be coming home for special occasions and whatnot and John says that he could actually be coming home in 10 minutes if he doesn't like the place. Clark tells him that if he was in John's position he would do this and he needs needs to see the future. A time portal opens up and Superboy and Saturn Girl head through, leaving Superman alone in the fortress with Kellex and the Legion device. Superman issue 16 saw the Super Sons make their return as John is reunited with Damien. It's a shame lots of the dialogue on Damien's behalf was utter garbage and was written like a 50 year old writer trying to talk like a millennial and it comes off as someone who is an alien to this world and doesn't understand anything about dialogue or how people talk. Everything else about the issue I really enjoyed however and I love seeing these two back together, it was really great. There's also hints at what might become of the recent rumours of John becoming Superman since little hints in dialogue there. The art by David Lafuente was really nice and really great fit for this story, it fit it really damn well. I'm going to give this issue a 7 out of 10.